Mustard Knuckle. Hello everybody, Mustard Knuckle back again. Another three minute clinic, a Yag the Panther G1. Basically a panther. So, lots of the same things apply, except that it's a case mate. It's a 6.3, so we'll be going at it with a uh, 4.3, I mean 5.3, 5.3 M4A3 Sherman wet with the M79 shot, which is the weakest shot it's got, from 300 meters. So you might see one of these in a 5.3, because it's a 6.3. Now, the front of this is tough. Uh, there's not a lot you can do. If you try to skim this uh, top vehicle right, uh, you might be able to catch one of these uh, crew hatches, and then there's this little seam in all these casemates. Good luck, but if you manage to pull that off, then you got the transmission. It opens up a whole new world for you. Uh, like I said, if you try to skim the top here, you might be able to catch one of these hatches. There's two of them, so depending on the angle you are, you might be able to catch one of them and get some, some of the guys that are inside there. Not super high percentage, but that's about all you got from the front if you're outmatched in this thing. Right above the uh, little fenders there, you might be able to do something there too, but still totally unlikely. Main thing with a casemate that we need to be thinking about is the barrel and disabling it somehow. So if we can disable it from that front shot with the transmission or take out the cannon, or one of the tracks even, but that, not so much. Uh, that's the key. You gotta make it to where this thing can't put its gun on you, and if you can do that, then you just opened up everything for you and your teammates and everybody else. Now, being a panther, this front quartering shot right here, easy. Easy. Quartering shot, that'll get you in there. Uh, you could even try for the transmission through there, but that area right there down low is a pretty common shot for any of the Panthers. If you can take out the track, you might be able to get the transmission in there. If you can get the transmission, that's a bonus because now they're stuck. They can't, there you go, see transmission shot from there. So lots of possibilities on that. Now once you disable it, you can come around the side or when your teammates come come around the side, and here's where the crew is. Now the crew slopes down toward the front. They kind of follow that angle, but up here the crew is higher and you can see those lower guys. So as you're thinking about how to approach this thing from the side, there's the barrel, the breach right in the middle. So if you want to get the guys in the front, driver, that would be a good idea. Take out the driver, eliminate their ability to maneuver, and you got something from the back, no problem. One thing to remember, you're gonna be tempted to go after this crew area, but really what we want is the engine first from the back, because then while you're reloading, they can't turn around and get a shot on you. From this side, same thing. Uh, you see how the driver and uh, maybe the gunner, I'm not sure, but there's two guys down lower there, so you gotta kinda of pick where you wanna go first uh, if you end up with a good side shot here. If you have an explosive shell, then that'll probably help, and you could probably get pretty much everybody. But these are the basic shots for a Yag the Panther uh, G1 from the front. As usual, it's tough. So we think about barrel and disabling. And then you got these easy quartering shots that any Panther has. And then we got to think about uh, where the crew members are inside there. Anyway, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck. Have fun. We'll see you in the next one.